Cincinnati Rising with Rob Williams. So many kids that we lose be, be because of uh, this this poverty that happens in ways that it people people are not able to dream, right? When you can't realize your dream, uh, it's, it, it, it makes it difficult to navigate these spaces. That is Deacon Royce Winters, who is a trustee with Xavier Jesuit Academy, a new all boys Catholic school which opened its doors in August. It's in Bond Hill and is located at the old St. Agnes School, which shut down more than 30 years ago. More than 20% of the residents who live near the school live below the poverty line, but many believe that Xavier Jesuit Academy will be a major reason why Bond Hill is rising. It was built for the community that in the his history of trying to this dream of what we're going to do, we chose Bond Hill specifically as a faith-based, so to have a faith-based school in a community that where poverty had, had, a, had a, at least not a, a stranglehold, but at least was, was palpable. And how do you address that so that people have opportunities? Xavier Jesuit Academy has only been open for just over three months, but staff and faculty can already tell it's working for students. That type of enthusiasm and comfortability and, and seeing that they feel safe, they belong here, this is theirs and taking ownership, that says to me a lot, like what we've done so far is being received well. What they've done is set up a Jesuit Catholic primary school where they stress the Jesuit saying, men for others, which encouraged these young men to prioritize love and service. You are becoming a man for others for them to receive that love, to know that love, to experience it, then that, can be, that love can become a gift for others as they continue to mature and grow. Right now, the school has 48 boys enrolled in the third, fourth, and fifth grades, and will add a grade every year until eighth graders are enrolled. Educators at the academy believe its small size benefits not only the students, but their community too. To have education where the teacher-student ratio and to have 14 kids that you can impact and build culture and build an understanding and then they go out and then they, they, they reciprocate by sharing that great gift that's in them, or you could change the world, you can change the community with, with that kind of uh, education. And that kind of education connects these students with other Jesuit institutions of education in our area, like St. X and Xavier University. This Jesuit network, that's, it works. It is something that uh, Jesuits do education well, but to have that networking where people who have already done it, and then they have a passion and, and to, to help these young people, but to, to help the school excel, uh, you, you just you, to, to find those kind of resources that uh, are just not at your fingertips. And with corporate, political, and community leaders on the board, these students will also develop connections that go beyond the Jesuits. Working with people of that type of influence of that type of leadership and caliber in our community is important because they can know the way and help help us remove obstacles, remove barriers, and enable our students and our families to be able to dream those dreams and to stay on that path.